A number of years ago, I had the opportunity to take a Triumph Speed Triple R for a ride, and uh, I actually did some suspension setting for the guy who actually owned it. Um, someone had played around with the position of the forks and it wasn't handling very good. Back then it was a 1050cc motorcycle. Now, once we tweaked the suspension and reset where the fork positions were, the, we took it for a ride and I rode it with the missus on the back as well. And I have to say it was the best handling naked bike that I had actually ridden at that time. And even my missus agreed. It was just an amazing motorcycle to actually go for a run on. Now, since then, Triumph have bought out that bike, and it's still a speed triple, but it comes out now with a 1200cc motor. So, very similar in the frame styling and things like that, but obviously there's going to be a whole bunch of different tweaks. Now, the new bike that they've got is a 1160cc triple engine to be specific. It comes with fully adjustable Olin suspension, uh, Brembo brake calipers, twin 320mm discs at the front. It has cornering ABS, traction control, wheelie control, cruise control. It comes with five configurable riding modes, rain road, sport track, and rider. And I believe the rider mode is probably gonna be close to what the BMW is called user mode, where the rider can actually set up or configure the different parts of the electronics to suit you know, their particular desired specification or riding style. The bike also comes with a quick shifter up and down, a slipper clutch, lithium ion battery, and it's a full keyless system. And uh, it's just a very cool motorcycle. Now, a friend of mine recently bought one, and uh, he's since having it, since he's had this, he's ridden uh, a couple of thousand kilometers on the thing, mostly on the ranges. And uh, he's a pretty good rider too, but uh, he's normally been riding the big, heavy 260 kilogram, uh, I think it's an R1200 G, uh, R1200, RT or something BMW so it's a big cruiser bike and uh, he's made the transition to the naked bike and uh, I had the opportunity to sit down and talk to him and get the owner's perspective of this particular bike so uh, I hope you enjoy this. So it's the 2024 model uh, so it's the um, Speed Triple uh, 1200 RS um, there was an another model which they have a Speed Triple 1200RR. It has clip-on handlebars. The RR was more set up for track riding. It had seven, a 14 centimetre lower grip position and the pegs were raised so you're in that much more aggressive position and I thought great for just going up and down the cafe. But if I want to take it any sort of little bit of a distance, uh, you'd be getting off the bike you know, with your aches and pains and things. And, we're not getting any younger, so I've got to plan for the future as well. So basically, the RS is 198 kilos, and it's 177 points, 178 horsepower. Quite a considerable amount compared to the, the, the other bike that I have. The brakes on this is just ridiculous. I'm used to a bike with a lot of weight, you know, 260 kilos or so plus, and the engine brake on that uh, when you throttle off is, is very little, where this thing, once you throttle off, you really have a tendency to not have to use the brakes as much. The fact that this has the quick shift, never used one before, um, and it only took me about a, a few hours just to really get used to this quick shift and oh my god. And then I jumped back on my R1200 and uh, forgot where I was and I quick shift, <laughs> quick shift up which is better than quick shifting down if you're not going to use a clutch on, 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 a, on a bike that only has a clutch system. Um, and I thought, my, my senses came and I thought, oh, okay, that's right, I haven't got a quick shift on this bike. So it was a clunky change, but it changed all right. Um, but yeah, just, the, um, uh, just the, the handling on this is just phenomenal, absolutely phenomenal. It's just a breeze to ride, you know, so much less weight, ratio of power to weight, amazing. Now one of the things that you'll get when you go on to the Triumph website is you get the opportunity to configure these motorcycles. So uh, you'll see on the screen we've got the Speed Triple 1200 RS and then this is the configura uh, configuring or configurator, uh, I think Ducati call there's a configurator, that you get with the Triumph bike and you can simply go in there, organise the colours and then you can start to add in different parts to this motorcycle and configure it in a way that suits you. And obviously the price is gonna go up when you do that. 
But uh, I also had the opportunity to ask Ian about what he did to his specific motorcycle to get it to where it is today because it did have some additional accessories on it. The little change that I've done with the bike so far um, is I've put a tail tidy on the back yep. instead of the long thing. I've actually um, taken the rear pegs off and just put a um, EvoTech um, bracket to support the muffler. I've actually put a, uh, a cover on the um, radiator to stop the stone chips and things and that's you, you barely notice it's there. I've put a couple of bobbins on the um, bottom of the um, axles of the, of the front wheel and the latest one I've just done is actually put the little um, fairing and, and uh, shield on the, the front just to keep the instrumentation out of the weather and things. As well, uh, heat and grips after experiencing riding in 7 degrees temperature. But they're the main things as well as I put the, um, the, the tank bag on and then I took the back seat off and um, attached the top box to the back seat so that when I need to put the back seat on I just take this off with a little allen key and then fit the, um, the back seat on with the top box already um, attached to it. Really easy to do. Now my mate is, he's quite a light guy, I think, you know, he'd be around about 70 kilos by looking at him and uh, I, I believe these bikes come out configured with a uh, suspension that would suit an 80 to 90 kilogram rider. So obviously that spring setup is going to be quite heavy in terms of rider weight. So I got to ask him specifically about his experience riding that bike with the heavier suspension, for his weight I should say and uh, what he did to adjust it and make it more rideable for himself. It was rattling me. Right. It would just go straight through you, through your backbone. Right, a little bit firm. Far too firm. Yeah. You know, and in some other parts of the area where you, know, you might be crossing a bridge and there's always a, a, a difference of um, um, plane of the road yeah. transitioning to the, to the bridge and things like that. And yeah, it, it, it really rattled me and I thought, okay. I was fair warned about it through a lot of the blogs. But you've been able to set it up in a way that suits you. What, what did you do primarily to it to make it you know, suit your body weight? Well, the first thing I did was adjust the preload. Uh -huh. You backed it off? Backed it off, uh -huh. absolutely. And it's still room to back it off. I don't think I need to because mm. you, know, you still feel the bumps, mm. but they're far more manageable, more bearable. So rebound and compression, rebound. You've, you've softened that. Yeah, they softened those, right. so I've backed them right off. Okay. Where do you predominantly ride this? Is it on long roads, commuting, long rides and commuting, uh, or do you predominantly ride on the range? I predominantly ride on the range. Yeah. When you jump on something like this, which I was planning, that was the whole idea of it, was to have something more suitable for that terrain, for that type of road. And we're blessed to have a range like that. We're blessed to have so many ranges where we are. Yeah, true. It's just built for it. It's just mm. beautiful to, to ride up there. I'm a believer that every bike has pros and cons, right? There's no single bike that does everything perfectly well. So, you know, it's always a, always a compromise in many ways. And I think that's why people like me have so many motorcycles. Um, one for every occasion, if you like. But I got the opportunity to talk to Ian about that specifically and asked him what he thought the pros were specifically and if there was anything that he would change on the bike, what would that be? Well, the quick shift is one. I, I like the, 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 you know, the, the, the little bit of carbon fibre. This particular model has only got it on the front guard. I don't know, it's, it's just, just it's, it's easy, easy to um, handle. It's just the handling is just ridiculous. I like the headlights. The instrumentation's a good layout. What would be something in there that you would say, if we're looking at pros and cons, would be considered as a con for you that you would change if you had a choice about it? Number one would be the, having fully electronic suspension on this. The RR model has that, which is, which is the ones that will set up a track. But really, apart from that, I'm very happy with yeah. the whole bike. You know, it's, it's built for a purpose, yeah. um, but really having that um, complete control yeah. through your TFT monitor. Yeah. Um, and so you're talking more things. like uh, having the ability to adjust damping all that electronically rather than... A absolutely, manually. yes, okay. yeah, because the, uh, you know, they're almost like, they're almost like an identical bike, the yeah. RR and the RT, yeah. but that electronic, fully electronic suspension control is the one that really ticks the box for the RR, definitely, and this didn't have it. I would have been happy to pay extra for that 
because I was prepared to buy a bloody uh, the Ducati. Oh, um, the Ducati Multistrada. The Multistrada, yeah, yeah, yeah the, the, the Pice Peak, which probably would have cost me about 45 or something. Yeah. These are a lot less. Before I left uh, Ian's place, I wanted to have a close up listen to what that engine actually sounded like, and uh, it's actually pretty cool. Well there you have it, that's the owner's perspective of the new 2024 Triumph 1200 Speed Triple RS. Um, I haven't ridden the bike myself, but uh, I'm super keen to give it a run. So uh, for more information about that particular bike, just jump on the website triumphmotorcycles.com.au, uh, I'm sure there's a .com version as well, and uh, it'll give you all the specs about the RS, the 1200 RS Speed Triple, and also the Double R. so uh, very cool, go and have a look, and uh, I'll see you in the next video, bye bye.